Greetings. I am making no bake cookies. First, you put a stick of butter in the pan. Turn the heat on to low and let it melt slowly while you get the other ingredients ready, which are over here. I have a half a cup of milk with a tablespoon of vanilla. I have two cups of granulated sugar and a quarter cup of Hershey's Special Dark Cocoa. I have three cups of Quaker Quick Cooking Oats. Well, they may not be Quaker. Anyway, and a cup of peanut butter. We do not yet possess the ability to put text over the video. Sorry. I feel like we should have listed out the ingredients <laughs> while we were Probably. Anyway. So anyway, now that I have that all done, I can turn up the heat. Oh, I forgot. Let's turn back down the heat. Next Tammy forgot do, something? Shut up. Okay. Next thing we do is we get this part ready. I'll put it over here. A couple of racks with parchment paper. All right, now we're back over here again. And we will need a couple of powders. Okay. I'm gonna stand on this side now. Okay. So the butter is melting all nice and pretty. So you can play with it as much as you want because, you know, that's fun. I wish we also had the ability to like make the video faster like they do, you know, like time lapse or fast forward or whatever. Oh yeah, pause it. Well no, that'll create a separate bit, second video. Oh, never mind. We should send some sort of note to Apple. Being like, okay, I would like to pause videos without resetting the whole thing. Alright. Melty melty. You'll notice I'm using a really big pan for what looks like not that much stuff, but um, I'm doing that because as the chocolate cooks, it um, gets a lot of air in it and it swells quite a bit. So if you use a small pan, like you can use maybe the quarter size, what? Um, like a, a medium saucepan or something, but don't use a small one. Okay, so the butter's all melted. In goes the milk. And then in goes the sugar and cocoa. All right, stir, stir, stir. And if you are sensitive to heat on your hand, you will probably want to use one of the, uh, like a gloved, oven mitt or something like that because this will get hot. All right, so we start stirring. What's an ungloved oven mitt? This. That's a pot holder. Okay, well, this. That's a gloved oven mitt, okay. But I'm not a wuss, so I do it this way. Wow. <laughs> All right, so once you put in the sugar and the chocolate, you stir constantly. And it'll take a little bit for things to get up to temperature, but you still need to keep on stirring. And while you're stirring, you can get your timer, ours looks like this, um, set to one minute, 60 seconds, no more, no less. And since this is basically a candy, you have to take into account the humidity in the air. So if it's raining outside or it's super humid, then you're going to cook this mixture literally one to two seconds longer, and that's it. If it's super, super dry outside, you may want to turn off the heat at 58 or 59 seconds. It makes that much of a difference? It makes that much of a difference. Um, it's not supposed to rain until tomorrow, right? Correct. So right now the humidity is not very high, but it's not super dry either. So I'm going to cook this for exactly 60 seconds once, once we start the timer. 
all this stirring is just heating. How do you know when it's ready? I'll show you. I think that one of the things that people mess up, the the easiest thing to screw up on no-bake cookies is the cooking time. Because it's a candy and it's so finicky. Are you? Do you see the nice dark liquid? Yes. See how pretty it is? Yes. Such a pretty color. Okay, you should start to be able to see around this edge over here, there's a little bit of bubbling on the edge of the pan. We're going to look for that bubbling to get about three quarters of the way around the pot while we're stirring. How does the bubbling know where to start? The bubbling starts wherever it's the hottest. Okay, now we've got some more spots on the back side, a little bit on the front. Got my timer ready to go. Keep stirring, keep stirring. All right, three quarters of the way around, start the timer. And the reason that I got everything out in the beginning before I started this at all will become very clear when you realize that everything that has to happen at the end of one minute goes really, really fast. You can't be like getting ingredients out while this thing still is hot and cooking. But you can see how this mixture is bubbling up and getting further up the pot. We're at the 27 seconds now. Twenty seconds. It smells really chocolatey. Ten seconds. All right. Off. Turn the heat off. Turn the timer off. In goes the stuff. And that's the oats. That's the oats and the chocolate or the peanut butter. Stir, stir, stir. Now, the reason that I did not move the pot off of the burner is because I have gas. If you have an electric burner, you're going to have to remove the pot from the burner at 60 seconds. <laughs> you have gas. Shut up. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like now. Goop. If you have done this a lot, you can kind of tell from experience whether or not it's going to set up correctly. I think it's going to be a little bit less set than I would normally like, but only by a tad. So I think we're gonna be all right. Then we move over here. What are the what are the options um, to correct the failure to set correctly? Um, if you have a failure to set correctly because you didn't cook it long enough, really the only thing you can do is put the cookies in the fridge. If it is set... Mm, it smells so good. <laughs> if, if you cooked it too long, and the cookies come out dry, then all you can really do is eat it anyway or scrap it and make a new batch. So by the okay. Fortunately, this is a pretty quick process. And practice makes better. Anything else you would like to tell our viewers? This is a number 30 Z-Roll Disher. Um, I don't really know. This video brought to you by Z-Roll. This video brought to you by Z-Roll. We wish. Yeah, I don't actually. There's. I wish there's it was brought to us by zero. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I wish there was a conversion chart. Or I mean, I know there is a conversion chart online that says exactly what volume each of these dishes are, um, but I don't have it memorized. All I know is the thirty makes it makes a really good um, no bake cookie. I use the number forty for chocolate chip cookies. And I use the number 50 for mini muffins. And I also got a 20 that I use, I think like two of, two scoops for a regular size muffin. Or maybe it's a 20 and a 40, I don't remember. But anyway, um, and the reason I like Z-Roll is because I can use them even though I am left-handed. If you're right-handed, you don't really realize this, but dishes are made for right-handed people because they usually have a little thumb thing that comes out here that you have to press. But this one, you can either use it this way and squeeze, or this way and squeeze, it doesn't matter. 
And the rest of that, Tammy will eat. And the rest of this, which is just little bits left, Tammy will eat. you wait till it's cool. And that's kind of one of the hardest parts, waiting till it's cool. And then let these cool and you are done. All right, signing off.